carriage strikes have been identified as the leading cause of printer failure. Carriage strikes can cause immediate and catastrophic damage, rendering the printer instantly out of production. Carriage strikes can cause subtle damages that can be incremental and eventually lead to printer failure. Carriage strikes are preventable. Carriage strikes always cause loss of production time in the form of print quality degradation, printer alignment issues, printhead degradation, printhead failure, printer repair time. Carriage strike prevention begins with proper media selection. Inspect each roll or sheet before loading, looking for a sheet to be warped, bad corners, curled edges, wrinkled, frayed, or unsquare corners. The vacuum table has been designed to hold flat media stationary while printing, not warped media. Bad media equals carriage strikes, not if, when. Also be sure you have the proper media set up. Ensure the media database has the correct settings for size, lamp settings, tension, and vacuum. Load the media correctly. Roll media should be loaded on the air core. Place a sheet or board at the media fence start position. If a media is questionable, load the media on the vacuum table or platen. Check the edges and corners. Ensure the media lays flat on the table or platen. To test sheet media, place a 60,000 shim on a scrap piece of the same material. If the media lifts to or above the shim, it fails the test. For thinner sheet media, place the 60,000 shim on the belt next to the material. As you can see in the photo, the material bends up in the corner, as high as the shim. In this example, the shim has been placed on top of the media. The corner has been damaged and the media raises above the shim. Also note the gap between the belt and the media caused by the damaged corner. Test web media. Place a 60,000 shim on the belt or platen. Check to see if the media raises to or above the shim. This example shows the edge of the material has curled to the point of reaching the 60,000 shim. Also, you'll see that there are frayed edges and fibers coming from the edge of the material. Another contributing factor of carriage strikes is media squareness. When loading your sheet from the fence, judge it against the side guide. As you can see in the photo, this sheet is extremely out of square. Had this sheet been out of square towards the guide, as the printer advances the sheet into the machine, it can damage the edge. Then the carriage can strike that damaged edge. Preventative Actions Calibrate and check the carriage gap. Raise the carriage gap above 60 thousandths. Run the bidirectional print at the new height on a known flat media. Lower the lamp settings if heat is the cost. Use Media Edge Guide Kit if available. Responsive Actions If the carriage is even making slight contact with the media edge, stop printing immediately. If a carriage strike is in progress, Press the emergency stop immediately. Post strike actions. If a carriage strike has occurred, raise the carriage fully if possible. Gently remove media, do not force. Ensure all media is removed. Inspect and clean the carriage and the lamps. Reset the carriage height. In summary, carriage strikes can and will cause printer failure. Carriage strikes are preventable. Media selection is key. Damage caused to the printer as a result of carriage strikes can be considered improper operation and associated repairs are not a part of any printer warranty or service contract.